All right, Jeff. What's happening? So now that we're cutting the, uh, the 7612 in, and then uh, we got all of the wiring already done, everything's terminated, and then once we get it cut in, placed in, placed in its spot, then we'll program all the uh, NEMA 2000 network stuff. And it's going to be sweet. It's going to be nice. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this job this guy does. He's <laughs> a true professional. I'm very concerned about not making a mess. And just what you want is somebody filming you while you do all this, right? <laughs> no pressure at all. So how'd we do? Great, I think it looks great. This is great equipment, the garments, the garments are reliable, they work. I think it's a great setup. It's nice having two chart plotters down here so you can always run radar on one and charts on the other or somebody can be looking at information over here while you're running charts on this one. I think yeah, it's a great now, setup. Now that Garmin has Active Captain built in, instead of sitting here with the iPad, you know, when Tim's sitting next to me at the helm, he can be looking ahead at the hazard and markers stuff. and saying, you better turn now exactly. or we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. No, I think I think the uh, Active Captain's a great app, too, so you can, especially when you're traveling from north to south and you're not familiar with the waters, you can always go on here and take a look at Active Captain and see exactly what's going on. It's not for you. <laughs> no, we, we use it all the time and, and are, are big uh, supporters and proponents of it. Um, Jeff Comer, on-plane electronics. Find him. Use him. He's awesome. Thank you, AJ.